Well, hi everybody, it's Gersh Cusman, of course, award-winning editor of the Brooklyn Paper and the Williamsburg Courier, and I'm joined by Williamsburg Courier cub reporter, my demon on the streets of Williamsburg, Aaron Short. Aaron was out there all day today. You know, it's right before Passover, and Aaron and I are share a faith, and that is the journalistic faith. We were out there on the streets eating and enjoying matzah in its native territory, right there on the streets of South Williamsburg. Uh, Aaron, what'd you find out there on the streets? What'd you see? The workers are working 24 hours a day. They've been working for the past month very busily, uh, mixing water with, with flour, rolling dough for 18 minutes, and then shoving them in very hot brick ovens. They 18 minutes. I mean, it's all this matzo. It's all well defined. It's it's Passover time, so this is their busy time. By the way, Aaron, is that a is that a yarmulke or is that some sort of sombrero? Uh, yeah. Well, obviously, it's happy to see. Anyway, it wouldn't be anything without a taste test of some of the finest matzas that Aaron found on the street today. Here we go with Kerister. Now these guys are the new kids on the block, if you will. It's probably about a thousand years old anyway, but let's try that here. Grab a piece of that. Compliments of Steve Cohen. Steve Cohen, a district leader. Anyway, this is a very thick style. It's got a classic look. Let's take a try. Oh, no. It's what do you little, think? It's a little dry. Oh, a little dry. Well, that's, I mean, it's matzah, but it's, no, uh, even for matzah, you guys got another thousand years in, you gotta work on it. Anyway, we're going right now to, oh, here we go, the Zalmanites. Now within Zalmanites. the- Zalmanites. Now, Very we're going we're gonna to tread lightly here. Within the Sotmer clan, or sect, I don't want to, this is not offensive, there are several different uh, branches. There's Zalmanites here. Let's try there. Uh, here, have a piece of this. Oh. This is the Zalmanite matzah bakery. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, that's horrible. It's I need combat. Great here. binding. Hmm. I'm from Long Island, actually. But... Yeah, I'm not going to be in the bathroom for a week. Anyway, now we're going to go to the Aaronites. Now, this is the other sect. Now, this is they really... Use Arizona wheat. That's where you get this um They use Arizona wheat. Flavor. It does taste different. It's thinner. It's different. As a, I gotta say, I'm an, I'm an Aaronite. Anyway, not bad, not bad. Let's go to the last one. There's a kick to it. Now our last one is the Poopa clan. What do you think of this one? Poopas, also nice, a little ribbly, it's nice. Oh, oh yeah. This is a standout. Yeah, this is the lightest matzo that we tasted. It's been fantastic. It's flaky, flavorful. Oh, yeah. I can taste the wheat, it's got like a buckwheat thing. But you know what, don't take my word for it, I gotta get I gotta get, I gotta get Vince DiMasselli. Vince, you gotta come in here because we're doing a matzo taste test. I got Vince on the phone. Vince, come on in. Oh, here he comes right now. Hey, Vince, come on in here. I want you to try the Poopa matzo. We've Aaron and I, who are both Jews, by the way, and don't defame our religion in any way. Love the Poopa. What do you think? Let's give it a try. Now, Vince DiMasselli is a noted non-Jew. What do you think? Wow, Gersh, that is the unleavened experience of a lifetime. Of your lifetime or of our lifetime? Probably of all of our lifetime. Well, you heard it here first and last from Vince DiMasselli, a noted non-Jew. I'm Gersh Kunzman for Aaron Short. We are tasting the matzahs. We'll go with the poopa, which is available at the address on your screen. Thanks, Aaron, and thanks, Vince. L'chaim to life.